welcome back to my channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today, as you can see by the title, I am going to be going through some more empties. Yes, I am using up my stash. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a lot more things gone. And that is my goal, is to use a lot of my stash before I start uh, purchasing more and more things. Black Friday's coming up. So I am going to want to try some new items. So I need to get rid of a lot of the stuff that I have here. I'm gonna go through my empties for you guys. And then I'm also going to shout out the winner of the giveaway. I said in the previous giveaway video that I would let the winner know in the comment section of that video, as well as shout them out in this video. So hopefully everybody, if you're watching this, you got your name put in that drawing somehow. you did whatever it took to enter the giveaway. And if you didn't, sorry, but there, there will be other giveaways. So yeah, stay tuned. You don't know when I'm going to shout out the winner. So go ahead and just relax and enjoy the video. So again, I have my bag of empties here and I'm just going to pull out in no particular order what I've used up and whether I would repurchase again. So let's get into it. And I got a trash can here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the stuff right into the trash can. So I can put my empty bag back over under my desk to be prepared for more empties. So let me just sit it right here. So let's get into it. So the first thing I am pulling out is the Talia Wajid, the Great Detangler. This is a leave-in conditioner and co-wash. And I've had this for a really, 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 really long time. And I finally just used it up as a pre-poo one day. And I probably will not repurchase. I didn't think it had a ton of slip not to detangle with, but then I'm not one to um, really, you know, um, detangle like that. I detangle with a cheapy conditioner in the shower. And this is a leave-in and a co-wash. It's supposed to do all three things, co-wash, leave-in, and detangle. Uh, to me, I wouldn't repurchase it. I didn't think that it did anything out of the ordinary for me. But y'all know I like Talia Wajid. They're up on Allo line, so there you go. The next thing I used up was the Miche Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner, which I love. I wish it came in a bigger size. And it may now, I know she got some larger sizes on some things. I need to double check to see if she does on this or not. But I definitely will be repurchasing this. I love it, won't do without it. The next thing I used up is the Suave Essentials Tropical Coconut Nourishing Conditioner. This is the cheapie that I used to detangle with. You can get it for a dollar, dollar seventy-nine, depending on where you go. It's less than two dollars for this thirty-ounce um, bottle, so you can't beat that. I think it has the slip I need to detangle, and yeah, I will repurchase. The next thing I used up is the Plum Nectar and Agave Moisture Rich Hair Mayo deep conditioning treatment. I just did a review not too long ago on this. I loved this deep conditioner and I said that I probably would repurchase it and I still may, but I don't know, depending on what kind of sale they have over Black Friday, I may pick it up again, but there is a lot of other black owned product lines that I wanna try, so I may get those instead. I just don't know. I think last time I got a lot of things from Black Friday that I hadn't tried that I wanted to try. And um, I was told, well, you probably want to use Black Friday to pick up on your staple products. So you have those in your stash. And I was like, well, I already know that I like those. So let me go ahead and just get things that I hadn't tried before. But now I'm thinking that may not have been a bad idea because what happened is I had all this new stuff and was trying it and then I was running out of my staple stuff. So if I didn't have a good uh, reaction to the new stuff, then I didn't have a whole lot of staple stuff to go back to. So I'm gonna I'm a, uh, think how I wanna do Black Friday this year, but this is very good. If you haven't tried it, I say try it. At some point, I will be repurchasing. Next thing I used up was the Eco Style Green, and I like it. I probably would some at some point repurchase it, not anytime soon because I have some more eco that I need to use up first. I have the blue steel, I have the 
uh, flaxseed one um, still, I think, and I think I have the argan oil one. So I already have three Ecos in my stash, so I probably won't buy this anytime soon, but it is good and I do like it. So next thing I used up was the Texture ID deep the texture id deep treatment mask with the sweet almond oil and wheat protein and honey i love this deep conditioner it's affordable um it doesn't smell the best in my opinion texture id i mean it's okay it's not like the she scented and the camille roses and things like that it's an okay scent it's not bad um so yes I would definitely repurchase this again. And it's affordable, so if you haven't tried it, I say pick it up. Um, and then, I, guys, I got more than hair products in here too. I do have some body products as well. So, like I said, I'm just gonna pull out as um, I pick it up. So, the next thing I have is the Jergens Extra Moisturizing Hand Wash, with, which cleans and moisturizes. I got this from the Dollar Tree. It costs a dollar. I would repurchase it again if they have it. I like the smell of it. Um, so yes, I would repurchase this. If you need a good hand soap that smells good, you know, cost a dollar. So, and it's 7.5 fluid ounces. Next thing I used up was the Dr. Teal's Moisturiz Moisturizing Bath and Body Oil with the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. And I liked this. It was my first time buying it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. It has jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, and grapeseed oil in it, and I really did like it. It was light, I thought. I didn't think it was really heavy. I thought it was a pretty light oil, considering, and it smelled pretty good where it rejuvenated me. It woke me up in the mornings and things like that, so I would repurchase this. I think I wanna try some other scents in it, but I definitely would repurchase the body oil. Especially with winter coming up, you need to layer because your skin is gonna be more dry. So yeah, if you haven't tried body oil, I say give it a try. The next thing I used up was the Maui Moisture Shine and Awapui Conditioner for Dull Hair. I did a review on this and the, con and the uh, shampoo not long ago, and I like them both. This conditioner is pretty good. It moisturizes your hair, it goes through tangles. It doesn't have great 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 slip but it has enough slip for me to get through tangles with so i do like it so yeah i probably would repurchase and i really like the shampoo to it so i probably would repurchase when i need to right now i gotta get through the stash the next thing i used up was the allocate naturals lemongrass hold it styling gel which i love you guys know i love it i have too many reviews talking about this styling gel if you haven't tried it try it if you want a hard holding gel that lasts like the Ecos and like the wet lines, but want better ingredients, this is it. It is gonna cost you more and you're gonna get less ounces, but it's gonna be better ingredients and it works just as well, if not better, and it gives you shine. I love it. I would repurchase. The next thing I used up was the Sensodyne Pro Namel Gentle Whitening Toothpaste. I used this um, along with a Tom's toothpaste. I go back and forth because to keep sensitivity away and things of that sort. I like it and yeah, I'll repurchase. Next thing I used up was another Texture ID deep treatment mask. So you can see how much I like it. There's two of them used up. Next thing I used up was the Tree Hush Shea Sugar Scrub and the Tropical Mango Scent. Love this. I like the Shea uh, the tree hut scrubs in general and i haven't tried one that i haven't liked yet i like the scents the scents smell so good i feel like they exfoliate your skin nicely they don't dry you out i just love it so this this one was the tropical tropical mango and i would repurchase it so if you haven't tried um, scrubs for your skin, I say give it a try. Next thing I used up was the Alberto Vio 5 Strawberries and Cream Moisturizing Conditioner. I said in a previous video, I think it was my other empties video that I probably would not repurchase it and I still probably will not. I feel like the Suave gives me a little bit of moisture when um, detangling my hair over this one, although this one is cheap as well. I do have one more of these on my shelf over here at the very bottom so you will see one more empties of this but after it's gone um, i'm not going to repurchase so i don't want you to think you said you weren't going to repurchase and now you have another empties 
because they're under a dollar. So when I saw them, I bought in bulk. So I'm trying to use up the stash. And once I use that last one, I'm not gonna repurchase. But it's cheap, it's under a dollar. Mostly everywhere you look, it's a dollar at the dollar store. And you know, if you wanna try something cheap to detangle with, you can try this, but it just, it just doesn't um, provide the moisture that it used to for my hair. Next thing I used up was the Gillette Satin Care Sensitive Skin Shave Gel with Aloe Vera. I would repurchase it, I like it. Yeah, not much to say about it. Next thing I used up was the Main Choice Growth Oil. I'm not big on oils, but if I had to buy an oil, like I said in a previous video, this would be uh, one that I would buy. This would be one that I would re recommend to you because it's light, it smells good, it gives a little bit of shine. It's one that I don't feel like I can feel on my hair, sitting on my hair quite as much as some others. So I'm not gonna repurchase right now. Like I said, I have some that I need to use up. I think I still have the melanin oil over there. I think I still have a little bit of the unicurl oil. So I'm gonna get through those and then I'll decide on this. Next thing I used up was the Revlon Candid Foundation and the pump. It is color 440. It is color 440, which is caramel. And when I first tried it, I didn't care for it, but then after I used it a couple more times, I really like this. I think it's a perfect color for me. So yes, I would repurchase this again. They have this in the glow as well as just this one. I like them both. This one I liked a lot for the summer, believe it or not. Um, and the one with the glow gives you a little bit more of a dewy look. That one's nice for the summer as well, but uh, because you already kind of sweat in the summer, it can be a little bit too much to me. So I think I might try the dewy, which I do have downstairs, more for the winter, just to give a little bit more moisture and doing this to my skin in the winter so it doesn't look so dried out by the harsh winds and winter's coming upon us. So yes, I would purchase this again. The next thing I used up was the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. It looks like this. Again, didn't like it at first, but as I kept using it, it grew on me and I liked it. I thought it was kind of um, really not my right color at first. And it's the color 90, which is honey beige. And figured out that this worked better for me um, at certain times of the year. So this worked better for me in the cooler months, I think. And then in the summer months, it may have been just a tad bit too light, but I did like this foundation. So I would repurchase if it's on sale. And I'm not a makeup guru connoisseur. I don't stick to one thing. Whatever is on sale, like both between those two, whichever is on sale and I can get the better buy, that's probably the one that I'm going to pick up. So that's kind of how I do it. Last but not least is the Maybelline New York Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer Mascara. So this is a brow mascara. So I put it on my brows sometimes, not necessarily to make them thicker because I already have thick eyebrows, but because they're thick, they get a little bit wild. So this is something that I put on, has just a little bit of tint to it and it lays them down and it kind of keeps them in place. But if you are someone who has lighter brows and you want a something to lay your brows down and keep them in place and you wanna add a little bit of thickness, this would be good. I have the color Deep Brown and I'm sure they come in other colors, but I liked it and I would repurchase it. So yeah, that is it. Guys, I got to go in and forgot to mention the winner of the giveaway, but I will do that. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and say that is it on this empties. You guys love these empties videos. I don't know why but I have a lot of empty, so I'll keep bringing them to you as long as you keep watching them. So let me know if you guys have tried any of those things, if you like any of those things, what are some things that I should try that I've gotten rid of and I should replace with something new that maybe I haven't tried. Leave all that in the comment section below and let me know. Now, with no further ado, let's go ahead and get into the winner of the giveaway. If you remember, I am giving away the Honey's Handmade 
collection, the honey collection. Most of the stuff is from the honey line, I believe. So it is in a box over there, ready to go. So the winner, I'm gonna tell y'all something too. I thought that I'd get a lot more entries than I got because I left it open two weeks this time. Last time I left it open one week, but to me, I didn't get um, a gob more entries this time as opposed to last time. So I think what I'm gonna do is go back to just leaving it open one week and that's it. That way I don't forget about it and have to keep remembering to, oh, the giveaway's coming up, the giveaway's coming up. So anyway, enough of that. With all that said, the winner of the giveaway this time is Extraordinary Chick. So Extraordinary Chick, you are the winner of this giveaway. So let's give her a round of applause. Guys, congratulate her. I will send out your products to you as soon as I hear from you. So make sure you go over to my Instagram account and either DM me your mailing address and information so I can get that out to you or feel free to go down in the description box of this video and get my email address and you can email me. Either way, make sure you notify me and get me your mailing information, your contact information so I can get your products out to you and I hope you love them. I hope when you get them, you will let me know. I hope when you use them, you will let me know how you like them and I'll be waiting to hear from you. So congratulations to Extraordinary Chick and guys, until next time, thanks for watching, bye.